Oh, nice and chewy. I love that. This is so good. I recently got to visit a bee yard for a story, and other than confirming that honey is delicious, I learned a few things. It all started with putting on the spacesuit. Just kidding, it was a bee suit, but it looked like a spacesuit because obviously we had to wear it for safety. Although our beekeeper, Sierra, was a total pro and did not need one. She did get stung once during the whole process, but nothing happened to her because she says she gets stung at least once a day, so she's practically immune to them now. We then got her smoker, which helps the bees stay calm. It's made from burning pine needles, and what it does, it basically interferes with the bees' sense of smell, which stops them from reacting to your pheromones and stinging you. Now, these beehives might seem small to you, but they can actually hold 60,000 to 80,000 bees. A queen bee can actually lay up to 3,000 eggs a day. They mate during the first two weeks of their adult life, on average 12 to 15 times. And that's to increase the genetic diversity of each colony, which overall helps increase productivity and resistance to disease. We were also able to see some of the mating in action. It was very nature dog to be honest, but I will spare you my David Attenborough impersonation. And part of this process was seeing the male drones endophallus, aka the Venus. It's as big as its whole body unbelievable, right? I was shocked, clearly. But I was equally shocked to learn that male bees die right after mating because their endophallus is ripped out of their body and their abdomen is sliced open, which kind of sucks because their lifespan is short as it is. They live between 18 to 34 days. Sadly, that lifespan is even getting shorter because of things like overusing pesticides and climate change. But they spend each day working regardless. Fun fact, the average beehive in the US can produce up to 100 pounds of honey a year. And each pound of honey is made by bees visiting approximately 2 million flowers. That means they fly about 55,000 miles back and forth to fill that honeycomb with each pound of honey. Which by the way, that honeycomb is delicious. Can I eat that part yeah. too? Just like all the other food we got to try with the drizzled honey on top. We even made a mocktail out of it. Cheers.